This next one's for you, Willie. Do you're a big AI guy? Pay attention, and you're an artist. So this one has just got everything you need in it. Mm. Deep face drawing AI can turn simple sketches into detailed photo portraits. Now we've looked at something like this in the past, but this is a is a more sophisticated update to the technology where it can take an even more rudimentary drawing now, run it against its own version of the neural network, and sort of create the these uh, uh, complex human images based on averages. So based on the most likely way a person might look, given only a line drawing. And you can play a little bit of this clip here if you want to just be careful with it, I guess. But you can play a little bit of this clip. And what you'll see is as, as this individual goes in there and just draws essentially what, what looks like, I mean, it's like a stick man version. It's like a well, it's better than my drawing still, I'll be honest, but it's just a couple of lines. I mean, it's seven or eight lines, and you have this complex, sophisticated, photorealistic image that's generated from it. It's hmm. really incredible. This isn't the first time we've seen tech like this. There used to be something called Pix to Pix Autofill Tool, but this is the most advanced to date. And it doesn't require the same level of detail in source sketches as previous iterations have. It works through probability. So it obviously has a very large database of real human images. And so, so given that database, it can figure out what average eyebrows look like or an average chin. And then it can contrast or compare that to your version of what a chin is. Apparently there's 17,000 faces, 17,000 sketches and corresponding photos to this point. It's still super early days in this kind of stuff, but when it comes to AI, when it comes to uh, face recognition, all, all of the, <laughs> well, does that one freak you out? I don't know. Yeah, if someone pretends to be me or how you they, or like a family member. Or how do they do it know? though? How, how how does it work? How does how do algorithms work? No, 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 not how do algorithms work. What I mean to say is what is the scam? How does somebody use this in a nefarious way? Maybe they caught surveillance of, you know, like a some sort of murder. Jeez, man, why do you think you take it to the far extreme? Thinking it's some kind of simple scam yeah, here. You go all out. Pushed over like a grandma or something. Okay. And then <laughs> it's still terrible. superimpose your face. You know, it's right. It it's terrible. It's a terrible thing. It's all terrible. Yeah. The way you're saying it. But yeah, I, I suppose if we're talking interchangeable faces, if we're talking simple face mapping, simple ID, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously the implications are pretty massive what you can do with technology like this. People are working on it. You have to think there's a commercial application that isn't necessarily nefarious as well. Uh, let me say, for example, ID IDing an actual criminal who did something terrible. And then the, the composite sketch could then give the right. law enforcement something a lot closer to look for than a line drawing. Mm -hmm. But some artists are pretty good. Some artists are pretty good. But, but, but those artists that are pretty good don't have the neural map in their head of the law, the averages, right? If you, if this software, let's say has, let's say the software at some point, not, now this is where it gets creepy, but let's say the software through closed circuit cameras that are everywhere had effectively built a database of every face that is there. Yeah. And it could just match the composite sketch with the most, the closest mm -hmm. right away. See where I'm going here? Because mm -hmm. it can scan it quickly against that whole database. Mm. So it, that's beyond what any individual artist could ever be capable of. Yeah, That's beyond the human capacity at that point. Even if that's the gr a great artist who has the averages front of mind and knows, oh, lips normally look like this and mm -hmm. chins normally look like that. So computers, when it comes to certain tasks, my good, hum, the human can't compete in certain tasks. This is one of them. Sheesh. Anyway, 
That's the latest tech in that, in that arena. Lots happening. This story goes well with the Boston Dynamics one. <laughs> Why do they feel like they're in the same? He's got a camera. Why is it he? I don't know. It. Oh, boy. It has a camera. It's doing the mapping. Maybe well, we it spot. We could have we name. could have spot do the mapping, couldn't we? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what we're going to be capable of? Once we once we crack spot open, this whole operation might change forever. Yeah. Spot's gonna be standing right there. It's gonna be one of the cameras helping grannies up. Uh, we're gonna do people who. Push that's them right. Over. We're gonna go so far in the other direction that people are gonna say they're gonna stop questioning, or maybe that's the entry point. That's where the movie goes wrong. Because here we are, this platform, we convince people. We're like, look, it's perfect. It's fine. It's helping the world. Carrying groceries. Yeah. Next thing you know, that's, that's the entry it was looking for. Yeah. It's that little small opening. Of course, I'm joking, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have fun tomorrow. Technology, it's fantastic. You know it. That's why you're watching this. That's another episode. Thank you to you. And thank you, of course, to Mr. Willie Doo.